Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Plasma Hurricanes You think a Category 5 hurricane on Earth is scary? Try a space hurricane. Researchers recently discovered a 600-mile-wide swirl of glowing plasma in Earth's upper atmosphere that rained down electrons instead of water. This giant, swirling mass of ionized gas lasted for eight hours and looked like a glowing green portal to another dimension. It's a reminder that our planet's magnetic shield isn't just a boring safety bubble. It's a chaotic battlefield where solar winds and magnetism get into a blender and create terrifying, invisible weather patterns. If you were floating up there, you wouldn't just be blown away. You'd be cooked from the inside out by a glowing, magnetic whirlpool that doesn't even have the decency to show up on a standard weather app. Number 9. Galactic Ghost Stars Scientists have discovered blue stragglers, which are stars that seem to stay young way longer than they should. They look like they've found the fountain of youth, but the reality is much more vampire diaries. These stars stay young by colliding with and literally sucking the hydrogen fuel out of their neighbors. It's stellar cannibalism disguised as a makeover. You're looking at a star that should be a wrinkly red giant, but instead, it's a bright, hot blue because it's currently wearing the life force of the star it just ate. It's a reminder that even in the majestic dance of the cosmos, someone is always getting mugged for their lunch money. Number 8. The Sound of the Sun we usually think of the sun as a silent, golden orb that provides us with vitamin D and the occasional sunburn. But thanks to the SOHO spacecraft, we know that the sun is actually a giant, vibrating bell. It's filled with millions of sound waves bouncing around inside its plasma. If these sounds could travel through the vacuum of space to Earth, the roar of the sun would be a constant 100 decibels, roughly the volume of a jackhammer at your front door, all day, every day. Your life would be a non-stop vibrating headache. The sun isn't just a lamp. It's a screaming, churning thermonuclear furnace that is only quiet because space is a vacuum. We're essentially living next to a ticking bomb that is yelling at us in a language we can't hear. Number 7. The Death of Time Eventually, the universe is going to get tired of existing, and modern physics suggests it won't go out with a bang, but with a very long, very boring sigh. This is the heat death of the universe. Because the vacuum is expanding at an accelerating rate, everything, galaxies, stars, even atoms, will eventually be pushed so far apart that they can no longer interact. The last stars will burn out, leaving nothing but black holes, which will then slowly evaporate over trillions of years. Finally, the universe will reach a state of maximum entropy, a cold, dark, uniform soup of nothingness where time effectively stops because nothing ever happens again. It's the ultimate empty battery scenario. You're currently living in the brief, flickering moment of a cosmic firework show, unaware that the grand finale is just a very, very long nap in a dark room where the walls are moving away at the speed of light. Number 6. The Diamond Corpse We've all heard that stars eventually collapse, but some of them go out with a very expensive, very creepy bang. Meet BPM 37093, a crystallized white dwarf that is essentially a one zero billion trillion trillion carat diamond floating in the constellation Centaurus. It's the size of Earth, but it's a dead, solid lump of carbon and oxygen that has been compressed until it crystallized. It's literally a planetary-sized tombstone. Imagine a world where the ground is a single, continuous, freezing gemstone, perfectly silent and glowing with the faint, residual heat of a dead sun. It's the ultimate look but don't touch scenario. The gravity is so intense that if you tried to land on this giant diamond, you'd be instantly flattened into a layer of atoms thinner than a sheet of gift wrap. It's a beautiful, glittering reminder that the universe has a very high budget for its graveyards. Number 5. Space Screams In space, no one can hear you scream, but apparently, the stars won't shut up. Researchers have been capturing plasma waves from planets and stars and converting them into audible sound. Saturn, for instance, sounds like a haunted radio station from a dimension where everyone is made of static and regret. It's a cacophony of whistles, thumps, and screeching feedback that sounds less like majestic celestial harmony and more like a dial-up modem having a nervous breakdown in a wind tunnel. The creepiest part is that these radio emissions are constant. While you're sitting there eating a bagel, Jupiter is emitting a low-frequency roar that sounds like a storm at sea recorded through a radiator. Your brain is hardwired to find patterns in noise, 
So listening to these space sounds for too long will have you convinced the gas giants are whispering state secrets or judging your browser history. Number 4. Rogue Planets We like to think of planets as well-behaved children, orbiting their parent stars in neat little circles like they're being graded on their penmanship. But space research has confirmed that there are billions of rogue planets just yeeting themselves through the darkness with no star to call home. These are worlds that were kicked out of their solar systems during gravitational brawls, and now they just wander the interstellar void in total, freezing darkness. Imagine a planet the size of Jupiter, completely invisible, drifting through the vacuum like a cosmic ghost ship. Since they don't have a sun to light them up, we only find them when they pass in front of a distant star and warp its light a process called microlensing. It's a bit like realizing your house isn't actually on a street, but is actually a hovercraft drifting through a pitch-black ocean filled with other giant, silent hovercrafts that could smash into you at any moment. Number 3. The Cold Spot There is a giant, icy bruise on the map of the universe that shouldn't be there. When scientists look at the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, they see a massive patch that is significantly colder than everything around it. It's called the Cosmic Microwave Background Cold Spot, and it's a cosmic mystery that makes researchers sweat. One of the leading, and most terrifying theories, is that this isn't just a random fluctuation. It's a bruise, caused by our universe bumping into another parallel universe. Imagine the entire reality you know your job, your cat. The concept of time is just one bubble in a giant sink full of suds, and something just nudged us from the outside. It's like finding a mysterious dent on your car in the morning, and realizing the neighbor might be a multi-dimensional eldritch entity who doesn't know how to parallel park. Number 2. The Great Rip If the universe's heat death is a slow fade to black, The Great Rip is the version where the movie film literally catches fire and shreds itself. Some researchers believe that dark energy, the mysterious force pushing the universe apart might get stronger over time. If that happens, the expansion won't just move galaxies away from each other, it will start attacking the structure of matter itself. First, galaxies will be torn apart. Then, solar systems will fly into pieces. Finally, the very atoms that make up your body will be ripped into shreds as the fabric of space-time stretches past the breaking point. It's like being on a treadmill that keeps getting faster until the belt eventually disintegrates and takes your legs with it. Basically, the universe is a giant rubber band, and we're all just waiting for the moment it decides it's had enough of being stretched. Number 1. Galactic Cannibalism Astronomy sounds very peaceful until you realize that mergers is just a polite scientific euphemism for one galaxy eating another alive. Right now, the Milky Way is in the middle of a slow-motion snack devouring smaller satellite galaxies like the Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal Galaxy. We can see the streams of stars, the literal leftovers being pulled out of the smaller galaxy and draped around ours like a morbid scarf. And if you think we're the top of the food chain, think again. The Andromeda Galaxy is currently barreling toward us, and in about 4 billion years, we're going to be the ones getting chewed up. It's not a collision so much as a messy, gravitational blender session. Your atoms probably won't feel a thing, but there's something distinctly unsettling about knowing the very ground you stand on is part of a giant, slow-motion predator that won't stop until the neighbors are part of the floorboards. Popular health tips that quietly make you weaker. Number 12. Only eat clean foods. Ah, clean eating. The phrase that makes kale feel morally superior to pizza. It sounds noble like you're detoxing your soul through quinoa, but in reality, it often leads to orthorexia, a sneaky eating disorder where you obsess over being perfectly healthy. You start fearing normal food, like it's radioactive, and suddenly your social life dies because the restaurant's chicken wasn't grass-fed by monks. The irony? Your gut microbiome loves variety. A little sugar, some fats, even junk food here and there, it keeps your bacteria diverse and your immune system alert. Go too clean, and you're basically starving your microscopic roommates. So next time someone judges your fries, just remind them, diversity is health, even for your stomach's ecosystem. Number 11. Take vitamins every day. Ah uh, yes, the multivitamin, those colorful little pills that make you feel like you're upgrading your stats in a video game. But here's the catch. If your diet is even halfway decent, most of those vitamins are just expensive pee. Seriously, your body is like, thanks for the extra B12 and then immediately dumps it into the toilet like it never happened. 
Worse yet, taking too much of certain vitamins, especially the fat-soluble ones like A, D, E, and K, can actually harm you. It's the nutritional equivalent of putting way too much oil in a car because you thought more equals better. Your body doesn't flush those out. It stores them, and suddenly your healthy routine becomes a toxic hobby. Supplements should, well, supplement. But somehow, a balanced diet turned into, take 12 gummies and pray. Spoiler, no gummy can fix sleep deprivation and stress. Number 10. Never skip breakfast. Remember when every cereal ad told you breakfast was the most important meal of the day? Yeah, that was Kellogg's marketing, not science. Skipping breakfast won't ruin your metabolism or make your organs stage a protest. In fact, studies show that intermittent fasting or, you know, just eating when you're actually hungry can improve insulin sensitivity and energy levels. But sure, keep forcing down dry oatmeal at 6 a.m. just because an ad from 1987 said so. Meanwhile, your body's like, bro, I just woke up. Why are we eating a full meal before I've even processed existence? Breakfast isn't evil, but it's not sacred either. The real rule? Eat when you need to, not when you're told to. Number 9. Avoid all salt. Ah yes, the health guru classic. Salt is bad. Throw out your salt shaker. But your body literally needs sodium to survive. It's not some villain hiding in your fries. It's what keeps your nerves firing and your muscles, you know, muscling. Without enough salt... Your blood pressure drops, your brain feels foggy, and standing up suddenly feels like trying to walk on a ship during a storm. Ironically, cutting salt too hard can make you crave junk food more because your body is screaming for minerals. So while everyone's out here preaching no salt, your cells are quietly plotting mutiny. Balance people salt isn't evil, it's seasoning and survival. Number 8. Drink water all day. You've heard this one a million times, stay hydrated. Like, sure, hydration is important, but somewhere along the way, people started treating water like a magical detox potion that flushes away sins. Here's the thing, overhydrating doesn't make you healthier, it actually messes with your body's electrolyte balance. Imagine you're refilling your phone battery constantly even when it's still at 90%. Pointless, right? That's your kidneys right now, filtering water they didn't ask for. Drinking water non-stop can dilute the sodium in your blood, leading to something called hyponatremia. It sounds fancy, but it basically means your cells are drowning. Your brain? Puffy. Your muscles? Weak. And your body's like, I was doing fine before you tried to become a human fish tank. So, yeah, stay hydrated, but if you're sipping water every 10 seconds because of a TikTok wellness challenge, maybe chill. Number 7. Avoid fat at all costs. Remember the 90 seconds, when everything was low-fat and fat-free? Yeah. That was the era of cardboard-flavored cookies and terrible science. Fat isn't your enemy, it's literally what your brain and hormones run on. Avoiding it completely can mess with your mood, memory, and even your libido. Your body uses healthy fats, like omega-3 seconds, to repair cells and regulate your entire system. Without them, your body starts waving the low battery symbol. So stop treating avocado like it's a guilty pleasure it's brain lube. Number 6. Eat every 2 hours. Somewhere along the line, someone decided your metabolism is a fragile fire that dies without a snack every 120 minutes. In reality, your digestive system is more like a factory, it needs downtime. Constant eating keeps your insulin levels high and your fat burning low. Plus, your gut needs rest to clean itself through something called the migrating motor complex. Basically, it's your intestines Roomba, but if you keep shoving snacks in there, that Roomba never gets to run. So if you're eating small meals all day because a fitness magazine told you to, congratulations, you've accidentally put your metabolism on a 24-hour shift with no lunch break. Number 5. Always use hand sanitizer. You'd think rubbing alcohol on your hands every 10 minutes makes you some kind of germ-fighting superhero. But here's the plot twist your skin and immune system actually need to meet a few germs now and then. Constant sanitizer use kills the bad guys and the good bacteria that protect your skin barrier. It's like nuking your entire village to get rid of one mosquito. And bonus, alcohol-based sanitizers dry your skin out so badly that microscopic cracks form, making it easier for bacteria to get in. Irony level, chef's kiss. So unless you're performing surgery or touching something straight out of a horror movie, soap and water are more than enough. Otherwise, congrats you've officially turned your hands into a barren wasteland. Number 4. Rest is for the weak. Grind culture strikes again. You've seen it, sleep is for the lazy. 
you can rest when you're dead, etc. Congratulations, you're now sleep-deprived and biologically falling apart. When you skip rest, your cortisol levels spike, your immune system tanks, and your brain turns into a buffering YouTube video. Sleep isn't just recovery, it's maintenance. It's when your brain takes out the trash, literally, it flushes toxins through the glymphatic system. Without it, you age faster, think slower, and crave worse food. But sure, keep bragging about your 4am hustle, while your neurons are sobbing in the dark. Number 3. Use detox teas to lose weight. Spoiler. If your weight loss plan includes a bathroom emergency, it's not working right. Detox teas are just laxatives in fancy packaging. They don't burn fat, they dehydrate you and make the scale lie for a few hours. Long term, they can cause nutrient loss, electrolyte imbalance, and dependency, meaning your gut forgets how to work without chemical help. So yeah, you'll lose weight, but mostly from water, dignity, and trust in marketing. Number 2. Always breathe deeply. Deep breathing sounds relaxing until you do it wrong. Most people interpret it as inhale huge amounts of air, which actually lowers your carbon dioxide levels and makes you lightheaded. Fun fact, CO2 isn't a waste gas, it helps your body use oxygen effectively. When you hyperventilate under the guise of mindfulness, your blood vessels constrict, your brain gets less oxygen, and your stress actually increases. The correct way? Slow breathing, not deep gasping. Otherwise, you're just turning calm meditation into a panic attack simulator. Number 1. Detox everything. Ah, uh, the grand finale. Detox teas, detox smoothies, detox foot pads. It's all nonsense dressed in cucumber water. Your body already has a detox system. It's called your liver, kidneys, and lungs. You don't need to flush out toxins. That's literally their full-time job. What these detox fads actually do is dehydrate you, strip nutrients, or trick you into thinking starvation is self-care. Your body's like, oh great, another juice cleanse. I'll just eat my own muscles then. Here's the dirty secret. If a product claims it can cleanse your body, it's probably cleansing your wallet instead. Drink water, eat real food, and let your organs do the job they were designed for. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.